Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I just want to give you a little bit of an update on some of the things for Christmas. I had said that I was going to do a review on some Christmas things, uh, so I wanted to give you an update on that. Not everything right now because I'm only doing the things that don't have swatches because I don't have um, too much sunlight around me and I don't want to give you anything that's um, that needs a swatch, so I don't want to ruin anything for you. Um, so I'm going to just show, I have four things that I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, the, I haven't, everything's been delayed and everything's already taped, but everything in my room has just been insane. If you could tell behind me, um, you might notice that my bed is different. Um, I have all new furniture and all new everything that we did. Um, so basically everything in my room, uh, over the past two weeks has been ripped out. Some patches had to be painted. Um, and then everything's been put back in, but new. So, you know, I have a dresser that's not even full. I have, um, two, like, chests that aren't full. And I just need to sort through everything. Everything I own is in boxes right now. I didn't even have a bed for a week. Um, it's been a mess. So I, I do have a before and after video of my room. I have a before video right now of my room. And when this is finished, I'm going to do it after. So that you guys can see, like, the room tour and the updates and everything that I did. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just going to do this. So first thing I wanted to talk about was the um, Laura Mercier Flawless Face Kit, and that's this, and this was $65, I got a smudge on it, um, but it's this clear bag, you take out, you can take out this, um, this chick over here. So if you look in the bag, packed with goodies that I just dropped, uh, so let me take everything out, it has the uh, Secret Camouflage, the Undercover Pot um, Concealer. And this is number two, I believe. So you have, it's like a wax and then the paste, a little mirror, and you unscrew it. It has powder in the bottom. Um, and this, and it comes with the brushes. So it has the skinny brush to apply the concealer, and it has the fat brush to set the powder. Um, there's also the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, and you get, uh, how much do you get? get one fluid ounce of this uh, and then it's the tinted moisturizer and this is in nude and that's an ounce of that as well you get one of her face puffs which I haven't used yet and then you get um, a little foam spongy okay so that's what you get the box says that it was $125 value it cost $65 um, as far as the the thing I was most excited about with this was the was this the concealer. Um, unfortunately, I, see now I'm realizing I should have done better light with this. But this is the second color set they have, uh, so I thought it would be too dark, but it's actually fine um, for me. The light one would probably be ideal, but this isn't this isn't strange. The powder on the bottom has this sifter thing, um, just the way that you would do any kind of like loose powder, and you use. So what you do with this, um, you take this brush, which has a guard on it, you take this brush, and you dip it in the waxy stuff on one side, and then you flip it over and dip it in the mood, like the more creamy stuff. This is a really creamy, creamy texture. This is very stiff, waxy. So you put some on each side. You then take it on your hand, and you put the waxy stuff, and then the creamy stuff, and then you mix. You use your hand like a palette, and then you dot it under, and then you spread it out either with your fingers or with your hands. Laura Mercier is one of the few brands that actually recommends, their, their makeup artists actually recommend that you use your hands because they want the warmth to allow you to set in, um, to set in, um, the makeup on your face to help it, like, melt into your face. And also they believe that your hands will feel an imperfection in your face and know to cover it better than a brush will. Um, and then after you do that, um, then you set it with this wide brush and the powder and you just kind of like that underneath and just make sure you don't get it in your eye. Um, the sponge and the puff that it comes with, I haven't used yet. This is for powder. This is for the foundation. I don't use the sponge and the I don't use the sponge for foundation and I want to get a new powder so I didn't want to um, stain this. But it feels very, like, velvety pretty. The foundation primer is pretty cool. I haven't noticed anything bad about it. I haven't um, noticed anything amazing either. Um, but I definitely haven't noticed any breakout. It feels more like a lotion uh, than a typical primer. It's not like a silicone-y kind of primer. 
I mean, it might have the silicones in it, but it doesn't feel like that, if that um, makes any sense. It doesn't have, like, the Smashbox. It doesn't feel like that. Um, the Tinted Moisturizer is this lightweight flawless coverage. It has SPF 20. Um, this is the color, and it has a nice kind of airy texture, and this is the color. This is nude. Um, I find this to be slightly warm uh, in terms of color for me. I might need something just a little lighter, um, but on the face, because of the fact that it's a tinted moisturizer and not a foundation, on the face it's able to blend in, um, just how you see it there, it's able to blend in because it is such a light, um, a, a lighter coverage. So that's not bad. So that's that set. Uh, if you like the things in there, if you like the tinted moisturizer if, and the camouflage, I think this camouflage is like $27 on its own. And the primer, I think, is like $27. And the, um, found the tinted moisturizer is like $50. So you're already looking at about $100. Uh, and then plus the brushes, I'm sure, are a lot. And the puff and everything. So financially, it is worth it. You just have to make sure that these are products that, um, that you're interested in trying out. Uh, the next two things I'm going to talk about are um, these little kits from lip gloss kits that I got for Christmas. Sorry. Um, this one is the Benefit Ticket to Glossy Town. And this has six little lip glosses. And this one is the Stila lip gloss kit. And the Benefit one, I believe, was. I want to say it was around 30. And this one was 25. This might have been 40. Um, so here's the thing. When I originally looked at these, I really wanted to try these. I thought that these were awesome. Um, I liked the style. I liked what the colors look like um, and everything. So I thought I would like this. Uh, and these are actually much smaller. Ooh. These are actually much smaller than I would have expected them to be. And that kind of um, was disappointing to me. It kind of made me... Um, maybe not want it as much um but then I tried them and right now I'm wearing this shade the second one in um from here it has like a fruity smell uh I think you'd call it lychee or light lychee whatever you call it. that you know it's like a Japanese-y fruit so it smells like that uh it's like a light fruity smell it's not heavy it's not too sweet um, and these are like brush applicators. They're the little brushes, not the doe foot foam. So that's pretty cool. And the colors are actually a lot cooler than you'd think. Um, they're a little more sheer. This one here has like a shimmer. It's like a wine color. Then there's like this nude color which, with um, like a rose gold shimmer. And then you have um, this pearlized peachy pink. Uh, then you have like a corally pink. And then you have this fuchsia that has blue shimmer in it so that actually helps make your teeth look whiter and then it has this purple color which just gives you like a violet hue it's not too crazy um and these are 0.1 fluid ounces each and these see here's where it's the thing these look bigger but these are only 0.05 fluid ounces each so these are half the size of these but these look smaller, but these are half the size because if you look, the, the makeup is only here. This is all clicking and stuff like that. So I tried one of these. I think I tried this one. And it took forever, first off, for the um, for the mechanism to work. Uh, then it also, um, just to use it once, if you can see, see how far pushed up that is? That was just one use. And look how much it had to use to get one use through the brush. Um, the colors in this aren't as cool as I thought they would be. This like, there's one shimmery color that's really cool. I, if I had to keep any, I'd probably just keep this one. But there's a similar color in here. So I'm not, honestly I'm not sold on this. There's a gold, there's like a brownish color. Just not colors that I thought I would want. So, out of the two, I like this one a lot more. This, um, I might break up the set and give some to friends or... Whatever I could do with that, because it's just, it's going to waste space. Second thing, this is the last thing, and this I got, and this is an on-the-fence product, and this is the Stila, uh, let's say it's Dream in Full Color, Dream in Full Color palette. And it's set up, you can see all the little petals, and those are colors, and on the back, you see numbers, and the numbers correspond to a name. So you have this guide um, to let you know what the name is, and it does come with an eyeliner. 
right there. Um, the problem with this is, okay, so this is the palette, which is cool because I, you don't have any palettes like this, really. Um, so we'll open it up. Okay, so first problem, plastic up here, not that strong. I'm totally convinced that I'm going to snap it. Second problem, the size of the, um, the shadows and the products are so odd that it's very hard to get into. My blush brush doesn't, these are blushes all around the edge, and my blush brush does not want to go into these pans at all. Um, I'll get like half a brush worth. Um, the middle and the edges, like these triangles here and the center are the easiest to get into, but these right here are so tiny, it's so hard to get my brush into it. Um, honestly, I just feel with this that it might be, it's also really hard to store, because you'd have to store it either flat or leaning against something or in the bottom of a drawer, which might break. Um, so while this is really cool, and it has a really wide variety of colors, they're so pigmented, so pretty, I don't know that I can um, rationalize keeping it in my collection, because I don't know that it would um, stay really well. Um, so that's really all I have to show you guys right now. Um, I'm going to do the Too Faced palette, the, the pretty palette, um, soon when I have more light so I could do swatches on that. And I have the little Too Faced To Go palette that I wanted to do as well. And then I have a few little perfume things I want to talk about with you guys, uh, especially something from Victor and Rolf who do Flower Bomb. It's something that I'm so excited to tell you guys about because you could benefit from this. Um, so yeah, that's about it right now. Um, I also have some details if you want to click in the below about, um, I'm not doing a full blog sale this year, but I have posted, uh, the Barrel nail polishes on Amazon. So, um, basically just so I can be able to keep track of, of orders and, um, and stock and things like that. Because if anything sells out, I felt horrible emailing people and be like, I'm sorry, it sold out. So it was a lot easier to, um, to do it this way through another, a third party site. So, I guess the second part? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have right now. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you're going to watch the Super Bowl, have fun. If you're not, watch the Puppy Bowl. It's awesome. Um, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Bye.